Hi, I'm Sapriya Shamate and welcome to my channel. And today I'll talk about keratosis pilaris, also known as KP, also known as chicken skin, strawberry skin. And this is a very common thing. I mean, in India, we can see 10 million cases of KP every year. When you have KP, you can see small rough bumps where the hair follicles are, and it actually happens for excessive keratin. KP actually can happen for many reasons. It can be for genetics, it can be for dry skin. If you have like really dry skin, you are more likely to get KP. And if you're not shaving your skin properly, and also you can get KP if you're not exfoliating your skin properly. And there are other factors too, and this is a very like difficult thing to treat. It's gonna take some time, it's gonna take at least a month to improve. And if you stop using like if you stop maintaining the thing or if you stop like exfoliating or uh, stop using the ointment or lotion that is working on your KP, the KP can come back. There are actually a few things you can do to tackle KP first. Uh, take short showers because if you take long shower with hot water every day, your skin is likely to get dry and dry skin like I told you, it is more prone to get KP. And the second thing you can do is to shave properly. When you shave, exfoliate first. Don't ever, do not ever shave on dry skin. Third thing is that you need to moisturize your skin. And the fourth thing is you need to exfoliate. Um, AHA, BHA, these things can work really well on KP. Also during this process, do not forget to protect your skin from UVA and UVB rays by using sunscreen. In this video, I'm going to talk about five skincare things that can help you to tackle KP. And if you need more detailed analysis on KP or the things you can do to tackle it, let me know I can do that. I'll make another video on this. The first thing you can do is to use a salicylic acid based cleanser for your body or wherever you have KP. Salicylic acid as you know is a BHA, is very effective when it comes to tackling KP. You can use Neutrogena oil free cleanser that has 2% salicylic acid. I know it's for face but I find this too drying for my face so I use this for my body and it works really well as a body wash. If you have KP on your legs or on your hands or wherever you have KP, salicylic acid based cleansers or any BHA or AHA based cleansers can help you there. I'll leave more recommendations in the description box. And the next thing you can do is to use an AHA or BHA based treatment. For that, you can use this one. This is for minimalist. This is their glycolic acid, transanguic acid, and salicylic acid based uh, exfoliant. Also, you can use Laxopt. Laxopt has 12% um, lactic acid. You can use those things like twice in a week or maximum twice in a week um, you can use this as a wash up treatment but i don't use this as a wash up thing i leave it on my legs i mean i mostly get kp on my legs and after that i apply a uh, body lotion but i wish they had bigger bottles for this you know uh, because for body uh, 60 ml is uh, kind of nothing though i'm using it for twice in a week still I wish it were like bigger so yeah even the lack soft is quite affordable like it has um, this 12% lactic acid like I told you also glyco and when it comes to lack soft I recommend you the gel version don't get the cream version because it's like summer and the cream version is kind of sticky you know uh, it is kind of difficult to absorb the gel one is better so I recommend you that and the third thing you can do you can use a body lotion that has a good amount of AHA or BHA so I I was using this Sugandha um, lactic acid body lotion initially I thought it's not doing anything but the more I used it uh, the more I liked it it's my third bottle actually even only one likes it now it has 5% lactic acid 2% niacinamide and if you have any other body lotions that has lactic acid or mandelic acid or salicylic acid you can use that no issues there you're gonna see the body lotions that have nourishing ingredients along with AH or BHA you don't have to use this like every day I would say like four times in a week or two and when you're gonna use AH or BHA your skin might get more sensitive to a sun 
so you have to use good sunscreen so yeah remember that and like i told you aha bha these things are like really effective when it comes to tackling kp and the fourth thing i have is a new thing i have been trying out this is kemsa plague lactic acid roll on it is actually for underarms you know this is quite good i'm going to talk about when i'm going to uh, like make the underarm care video but yeah i sometimes you know roll this on on my skin whenever i feel like i have rough textures it has 4% lactic acid like i told you and 1% mandelic acid it's quite nice and quite handy you can give it a try even for underarms it's quite nice if you have like patchy um or if you have hyperpigmentation over there you can try this one for your underarms and for even kp you know for your legs it's very comfortable to use and very lightweight i'm really liking this one you know it has 40 ml of product and i think i paid it is 399 i think i paid something around 350 with some coupon something like that it was on discount so yeah a very good thing you can give it a try very innovative i think i have not seen anything um, in india like you know a roll on with lactic acid i know they have uh, made this for underarms but i think it can work on kp if you have kp on your legs on your hands you can give it a try the last thing you can do is to use a clay mask for the affected area you can use a uh, multinimity kaolin clay or mendonite clay i would recommend you aztec secret clay mask that's my favorite so what you're going to do you're going to suppose you have this exfoliant you're going to put this exfoliant on the part you have kp uh, keep this on for 5 minutes then after that you apply the clay mask on the top of that keep the mask on for say 15 to 20 minutes then wash it off i think this way it works uh, better so yeah i hope you found this tips to be helpful and see uh, you need to moisturize your skin when you are exfoliating your skin your skin might get dry more dry so you need to uh, moisturize because dry skin mosquito sorry uh, dry skin is more prone to get kp and i know it's very difficult sometimes you get like frustrated because it takes some time to go and it may bother you uh, the bumpy patches you need to maintain this routine because the thing with kp is that once you stop the treatments it may come back so yeah it's like a constant maintenance thing and another thing is that you can use physical scrubs as well but i think uh, this you know um, chemical exfoliants they work better on kp as this for me or you can simply add manual exfoliants and chemical exfoliants in your skin care into this balance it properly but you yeah, do not over exfoliate your skin that's what i'm going to say so yeah that's all for now i hope you found this to be helpful and thank you so much for watching and i'm going to see you very soon then bye bye